I'm Dave Butfield. These days, fishing is so much more than just soaking your bay in the water. And you may have some questions like, where's the most productive area to go fishing for your target species? When's the best time to catch that species? And of course, what is the best bait to use? Throughout my travels both here in Australia and overseas, I've been very fortunate to wet a line for some pretty amazing species. From Barramundi in India, giant kingfish in New Zealand, and monster brim on the south coast of New South Wales, just to name a few. In that time, I've learnt so many different ways to catch a fish, and now it's my aim to try to pass that information on to you. Or I hook a small one, I'm hooked on fishing again. On this week's show, we're doing some good old-fashioned bottom fishing. The reefs along the east coast hold a wide range of different fish species. From snapper, kingfish, mowong, cobia and even jewfish, just to name a few. All these species are fantastic eating and put up a great fight. Today, I'll be showing you some different rigs to use when bottom fishing and trying our luck around the fads for a dolphin fish. As we leave Sydney Harbour, it's a picture perfect morning. The sun's coming up with the beautiful Sydney Harbour Bridge in the foreground. You couldn't pick a more perfect way to start the morning. And I'm hoping the fishing is just as good as the scenery. Good on you, Dave. Well, here we are in beautiful Sydney and uh, got my good mate in the background, Louis Langle, and we're on Fish Finder Fishing Charters. And we've just dropped out, probably only about, what, 10 minutes out of Sydney? Yep. And uh, first drop, and we're on straight away. And, and, and that's, you know, fish, Sydney's got a great fisheries, you know, it's such a wide variety of fish. You know, we've got kingfish on at the moment. Uh, we get snapper out here. What else we get? Moeys. Moeys. Pigfish. Pigfish, so a great variety and great eating fish. So we'll see what we've got, and uh, could be a leather jacket, hopefully not. <laughs> Plenty of around. Sydney's famous for leather jackets, so. You even get the old dew out here, Dave, as well. A dew fish as well, that'd be amazing to get a nice dew fish. What have we got here? Flatty. Oh, yeah. And he's on the plastic, so the bait's been stripped. There you go, on the plastic. And there's our first floody for our trip and then that's on that squid vicious I'll give that the tone there you go tone pretty common for here aren't they mate yep um, start of the ground is generally flatties yep on the beginning of the ground and then when we come to the back edge of it we'll hit a bit of harder stuff where hopefully we can get um, our reef species yes exactly like snapper great eating fish and but these eat quite well as well so Beautiful to eat. Right, we'll just put our plastic on there. As you can see, that looks like a looks like a squid. It's got little tentacles on it, uh, or octopus. That's why they work so well. I like using these on the reef. Um, that colour there, that uh, chartreuse colour, has been working great, especially down the south coast. They get some really good snapper uh, on this, and hopefully, I can turn this into a snapper later on later on through the day. So easy to put on. We've got our hook. We've just got a, re a resin head on here, nice and light. Um, that's like a, a five O. Is that a five O hook tone? The resin head? Four O's, yeah, so four O hook. Uh, so we're just gonna push it on like so, make sure it's in the middle. It's not so crucial here because uh, we're only just bottom fishing. Um, so we'll push it on like so. We've got plenty of hook exposed. We've got our little tentacles that's gonna be bouncing around on the reef. Uh, we've got our bait with our old cat uh, hook and a bit of tinsel, as you can see, that's another attractant. And uh, hopefully that'll produce a fish for it. So we'll get it over the side. Are you on, mate? Yep. Yeah, I'm on, yeah. Beautiful, good stuff. Yeah. Bit of head shakes there. Well, hopefully it's got a bit of orange in it. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, come off. That's not a bad fish, I think, huh? Floody, mate, floody. You yeah. reckon? You gonna call it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't need bottom bashing for a while, I'm a bit rusty, Dave. <laughs> More into the kings usually and stuff like that. That's so it, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to have a call, but. Well, the thing is, even out on this reef, you'll get kingfish as well. Yeah. Tony gets the odd good dew out here as well. Yeah. So that's always so something to look forward to if you can get one of those. Nice rod, this demon blood here. They are, they're a beautiful Good rod. Lash. And the best thing about the demon blood, and we've got the, uh, the Seagate Hyper, the 4500, they're very affordable. So, you know, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars and you can have really quality fishing gear. It's a good flatty, this one. Mate, that's a good flatty. That's a lot better. That's what we're after. Nice, that's a great flatty, Lou. Well done, bud. And that, and that's, that is a common size. You will get a lot of fleas like that, and you usually find, you know, if you're getting a lot of small ones, go to that deeper water, a little bit deeper, and you'll find, you'll find the bigger ones. Good work, that's a good fish, mate. we make a couple of nice little fillets. Yeah, definitely. Feels a bit heavier, Lou. Yeah, that's better. Oh, hopefully it's uh, might be a big. Oh, I don't know. Hit it hard, but. Mm. Well, it definitely feels bigger than my first fish. Anyway, which is positive. Oh, big lizard, mate. Big lizard. That's a good one. There you go, that's, a, that's another nice fish to come in and he'll be definitely going home for dinner tonight. Really got to be careful with the flatties and I've mentioned it before with these spikes, they've got these spikes on the side and uh, when you get that squid, rid of that squid you can see them spikes there. One thing you do have to take care, you can see Tony's got a pair of tongs there, fish holders and makes it a lot easier and safer to get uh, the hook out, and there's our rig, and I was using a bit of strip there. It's a nice flatty, that's a beautiful flatty. Good fillets on that. And uh, Eastern, blue spot. Eastern blue spot. And there you see our rig, and we've got a little bit of strip of squid on there, um, our tinsel, and our circle hook. And a lot of times when the fish does swallow this down, uh, they will hook themselves. So All right, I'm gonna just fix, tidy that bait up, put a little bit more on, and uh, hopefully we can get another nice fish. That's You're on loop? Yeah, we're on double. <laughs> I reckon I've got a flatty again, mate. This might be a snapper. You reckon? Yeah, it's a lot, confident. A lot, of, a lot of head shakes. I mean, who knows? Who knows? I tell you what, these hooks are working fantastic at the moment. There's another flea on that hook. Oh, I've got that hook. No, it's a snapper. You got a snap? Oh, nice, beautiful, nice good work. It's one. First one for our trip. There you go, Dave. Nice little panty. That's it, exactly. Resin head. Yep. Now, is this a, what's the average size for a Sydney we'll get with snapper? About that. About that, and that's yep. a good eating size. They're sweet, the yep. meat is beautiful. Yep, that's top eating. So what I'm doing here, we're stripping it. So it's pretty much the same kind of style that I use when I'm going for kingfish. So we'll just, I'm gonna take the skin off flaps um, and I'll, I'll just put on you can put little tentacles on it if you want if you want to be fussy but I don't reckon it really matters uh, put that on the hook a couple of times and there's a nice bait and it does look like a little squid wrench flapping around uh, I've, I've taken the plastic off at the moment so I'll put some pillies on there and uh, and our squid that we've just uh, stripped up What's in your mouth, Lou? I've got chicken. We haven't been on a feed for breakfast, you know, both hooked up, mate. I've got a few bites, actually. Better fish, mate? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look at that, Lou. Where's Murray? 
big mowie. Yeah. Lou's got a mowie. I reckon I've got the same. You might have a ready. You might have Dave. Look at the tip of that rod bouncing. Could be a mowie. Hopefully it's a, it's a red. I would prefer to eat a, a snapper than a mowie. Oh, fantastic. What do you think, Dave? Mowie or snapper? That's a good one. Mate, if you've got that there, I reckon I might have a mowie because they do pull hard, the mowies. They do like to live in the same area, but the mowies and the reds together. They so. sure do. Very important with the, with the mowies as well. If you are going to keep it, make sure you take that black lining out, hey, Lou? That's right. No, oh, that's a good Maui oh, too. That's a good one. Look at him go. That's a big one. Gee, leaves mine for dead as usual. <laughs> Gotta beat me again, Dave, don't you? No, big, not bigger, a bigger squid, bigger Maui. <laughs> well, that yeah. was on that rig too. A nice matching pair. On that hook, so that's a good Maui. Nice Maui. If I can get it out of my, uh, a bit tangled up there, but uh, yeah, that's a lot better fish. There you Got go. two nice fish there, and uh, you know, Tony just moved us over a bit of a reef. We found a little. Uh, patch there and he said we should be able to get some fish down here so that's a good fish so excellent yes yep little tap 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 not big hits but uh, we got something on anyway no I reckon it's flatty flatty I don't know not a real big fish yep little snapper well, it's the right species we're after, and just not the size we want. <laughs> so it's still good, at least they're down there. And, we, and we're just waiting for a tide change too, because that can bring the fish on the bite, you know. Uh, just, just something that just switches, that fish are just so funny, it's just the flick of a switch and all of a sudden they've stopped biting, or, and vice versa, the flick of that switch, and the fish just come on the bite and then go crazy again. So this is only a, a little guy, but that means uh, it's a good sign they're down there, so we've just got to find the bigger ones. Well, that last little snapper I caught was caught on that, um, that LCAT hook, that little one with a flasher. So the bottom hook I've got here at the moment, because I've taken the plastic off and put it just a normal circle hook, um, it's easily working okay, but uh, it seems like I'm, it seems like I'm getting the fish on all the uh, all these little flashes. So I'm going to make uh, the bottom hook as well the same. So it might increase my chances. Who knows? That's a good one. Oh, you're right. Was a bit you're of on, Louis. Yeah, got one at long last. Any size to it? You reckon? No, it's, it could be a ready. Bit of head shaking there. Have so. Looking in the water, I think it's the right colour, I'm thinking. Is it? Maui? Ah, uh, Maui. Good Maui too. Good Maui. Oh, uh, I've got leather jacket. That's me. Huh. Bit of a tangle. We'll get him out. That's not too bad. Um, common scorpion fish. <clears throat> or uh, red rock cod. Can eat them. You can eat them, tastes like poor man's lobster. That's it, exactly. Um, but obviously this size we don't worry about, we'll let him go. But uh, watch their spines. Yes, you get exactly. the burning sensation. Yeah, exactly. Tone's on, Dave. Tone, on, good on work, buddy. Well, Tony, you put a plastic on there, mate. And it looks like you've got a cracking fish. Oh, it didn't come off, did it? No, nah, good work. I was just setting up a... I'll get around this side, mate. Yeah, I was just setting up a plastic myself and it's just gone a little bit quiet and, and it does happen from time to time. So we're going to prospect around. We've got the, just in the uh, back of the foreground there, we've got the uh, the fad. So you might even get a dolphin fish. Uh, but Tony said, I'm going to put a plastic out here, just have a have a, a couple of drops uh, before we pack up and move on. And bang, he's hit up. There's our, that's a dolly. That's um, They're pretty common now this time of year in the summer months. Uh, as you can see, like I said, that mark is just in the background, but anything that's got kind of structure, fish traps, um, floating logs, um, anything like that, these, these little fish here uh, hang around. And they do get, they're one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean, and they, they're beautiful, but you've got to eat them fresh. You know, there's no use putting them in the freezer, I don't reckon they they just lose their flavour. Um, that's it, exactly, just put them straight on the ice, get them home, cook them up on the barbie. So Tone, 
Uh, this is only a small guy, and we're just talking about, you know, we can get some big bulls around here, yep. and they're five and six foot long. Yep. Uh, there's a legal size to these, so he's undersized. He's undersized, yeah, so we're going to actually release this one. So I've thrown a few uh, cubes out there, and uh, to kind of get them feeding on the pillies, and just like a bit of a burly, get them biting. And uh, Lou's been trying to soft plastic, but didn't have much luck, but then I got that pilly down, they hooked up, we hooked up on that, and then all of a sudden Louie hooked up as well, so it got, it got them biting. So we'll get that down there again. So we're leaving the bail arm open. Here they go, I can see them. Here we go, we're on again. We've got our line coming out. Give them, give them a chance and then close the bail arm and you're on. Beautiful. Beautiful, so. It's gonna get a couple of jumps out of him though. Yeah, yeah, oh, they're great fun. Especially on light tackle, you can't beat them. All right, and today well, we started off pretty good with a few flatties, some moongs, and uh, and it just, just died off a little bit, and that could be that tyre change. So, you know, it could fire it back up. So while we're waiting for football, oh, there's one. I'm on two. Are you all right? Lou, he's on with a plastic. Good work, mate. Woo! One's jumping. <laughs> Look. Look at jumping out of the water. Here's my one. There he is. Get that. No, to... I've got a kingy. you got a kingy? I've got a kingy. What? Yeah, I'll bring mine around there, Dave, so you can... No one ever pulled so hard, it felt like a bigger dolphin fish. Mine's so... a good dolly, look. Beautiful. Might and be there's, a, there's another one, too. That's a tiny king. Then they go hard, though, eh? Take a look at Louis dolphin fish. That might be just legal, I don't know. Maybe, Tone. There you go. Ready? All right, well there's our little king. It's probably the smallest one I've caught. And you'll find when you get around the fad, you will get a lot smaller fish uh, with when it Absolutely. comes to kingfish. Legal? Yeah. Oh, he can come over for dinner, so beautiful. There we go, the kingy, bit of fun. He's going back in the water, straight out of the back. Off he goes, and we've got a keeper. So let's put some more baits on and see if we can hook up or do another fish. Well, we've dropped down and we've moved off the dollies. Uh, they started to get a little bit quiet and the boys said, let's go and see if we can pull in another fish off the reef. So this is our first little spot, our first drop. Oh, come on. Uh, and big sinkers, because there's a bit more current now. And the old saying, no run, no fun. And well, I'm having lots of fun at the moment <laughs> and there's plenty of run. <laughs> This is a beautiful, perfect outfit for fishing Sydney the Demon Blood, 64 combi jerk, and the Seagate Hyper, perfect combination. So let's hopefully we'll get to see this fish. And hopefully he's still there. Well, I had a bite too and I dropped it, whatever it was, so it might be on a bit of good ground here. I'll just cross our fingers, it's a decent fish. I'm going to jinx you and get the net out, Dave. <laughs> so you jinx me now, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that, Lou, that's some head fish. shakes. That's some head shakes there. Could be a snapper, who knows? Whatever it is. It's good fish, whatever it is. Oh, Dewey, all right. Oh, Dewey, woo! <laughs> oh, look at that, fantastic. Oh. No one in my arms are sore. Nah, oh, Pulling that in from that weight. <laughs> but it's, that got a, it's got a bit of weight there, Dave. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah, my five. laughs> well, that makes it a little bit more worthwhile, isn't it? We did mention that this morning about Jewfish. You brought it out a couple of times. And uh, I'll get these hooks out and we hold this fish up. Yep. Good on you, Mr. Davis. You got us on the fish there. Good on you. And uh, we've got ourselves a Dewey off the reef. <sighs> Get that line off. The hooks are out. <laughs> yeah, that's better. And there you go. Not a monster, but a perfect eating size Dewey. That's mm. uh, that's fantastic. So, 
you know, we've had a bit of variety so far today. We've had moeys, we've had flathead, we've had snapper, we've had kingfish, we've had dollies, uh, dollies yeah. anything else we can put on the species list. And then a guy. Uh, so, but to get a dewy like that, mate, that is fantastic. So, uh, mate, he's definitely going home. He's excellent. And, and, and guess what? I reckon we'll give this to, to our beautiful chef, Jackie M. Yep. And see if she can cook that up. So. I'm going to take that to the kitchen, the Jackies, and uh, I bet she's got a great recipe for this dewfish. Well, I'm excited I'm have another go. All right, drop back down there. Fantastic. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Oh, I think it's another, I think, Dave, another dewy. I hope, I hope it is, mate. Well, usually when there's one dewfish, they school up, so it uses a few more. So uh, hopefully Tone's got one, you all got one, we're all taking Jew home, Jew home for dinner. He might be... Could be a trag. No, trag, yeah, it is a trag. It That's is a trag, trag. yep. Yep. Oh, well, there you go. Another species for the Another collection. species. How many species can we catch in a day, mate? So, yeah, I think we might have hit the jackpot. Tony's put us on the fish this time. Well, let's, what's Tone got there? The old fish finder. What's, what Tone got? Oh, <laughs> a sweep. Very good. Well, here we are, the beautiful Sydney Harbour in the backdrop, and uh, what an amazing day off Sydney. Some great fish, boys. We got, God, how many species did we get? We got trag, we got a great dewy, um, what else? King. King, King. Little Kings, great fun and light tackle, couple dolphin of, fish. Couple of snapper. That's right. It's, it was a fan, and flatties, I can't forget oh, about the flatties. Okay, so, big flatties, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we've had a great day, and, and anyone can do this. You've got to give the man next to me a call, Tony, from Fish Finder Fishing Charters. Uh, great bloke, mate. You do um, bait fishing, soft plastic fishing, the whole lot? Yep, lure fishing, the whole bit. Okay, give him a call, and you will catch a, a, some amazing fish, as you've seen today. And all the gear we used on today's show, you can get at uh, Otto's in Dremoyne, and also my store at Fish and Hunt at St Mary's. Uh, drop in there and get all the gear. And look, we've been out, we do a lot of fishing in this area, so we'll give you the right advice. But I hope you enjoyed the show, because I've had a great time. Mate, fishing next. There'll be some serious, serious building going on tonight, David. That's right, exactly. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll see you next week, somewhere around Australia. That water makes it clear to see That vision's just like therapy The worries of the world all just drift away when I'm out here fishing for the day So if I hook a big one Or I hook a small one I'm hooked on fishing again